What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be uh, kind of tweaking the exhaust a little bit. So last video you guys saw me actually, you know, do the exhaust and I did a great job at it if I do say so myself. This is what we're working with right now. Uh, three inch pipe all the way uh, down to where the resonators used to be. So we got a muffler delete and a resonator delete. Uh, and then I got these nice three inch tips on here. And then I went ahead and uh, heat wrapped uh, this section of the exhaust um, so that I don't have any issues with the exhaust melting some of my CV axle boots. Um, so I did a lot of research on actual you know, muffler delete and resonator delete and how it sounds, the drone, any resonance that um, comes with doing this, uh, this delete. And all the videos I watched, it sounds really good. And if you go ahead and take a look at my video of me, you know, of my before and afters of the, the resonator muffler delete, it does sound really good on camera. It, like, I have to say, it sounds really good on camera. But in person, it's extremely loud, which I'm on the edge about. You know, everybody I show says, yeah, that sounds good. But it's, it's a little raspy in the higher end, and it drones a lot. So... I went ahead and picked up these two Vibrant Performance bottle style resonators, three inch. Uh, they should slip over um, perfectly fine. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick them right here. So I got this perfect section of pipe. I already went ahead and marked out what I'm gonna cut, as you can see there. And it's gonna fit in and slip on perfect right in that area. Now this is where the factory resonators were. Um, uh, so that's why you know I got this like perfect area to do it. So I'm hoping that these resonators fix the issue that I'm having today. Uh, I'm honestly praying because if it doesn't, I might go ahead and, uh, you know, experiment with some mufflers or some maybe really small mufflers, something in there. Uh, but it's just really loud, really raspy, and really droney on the inside. The drone is my biggest issue because it just gives me a headache and it makes me, like, think that the exhaust is louder than it really is because of the drone in my ears. So again, I'm hoping that the resonators that I got over there are gonna fix the issue. So the first thing I have to do in order to get these resonators installed is I have to cut the exhaust completely in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the exhaust in half on those marks right there. I'm not gonna cut those just yet. Those are kind of just references. Uh, I have to do a bunch of measurements before I make a final cut on that side. But just gotta make a first cut, get that back half off, and then we can go ahead and start mocking stuff up. All right, guys, me and my dog Milkta just went ahead and dropped this, uh, this rear section of the exhaust after I cut it. Uh, and I went ahead and test fitted these resonators up here and they could not be a better fit. So again, these are the Vibrant Performance bottle style uh, 12 inch resonators. They're 12 inches long from end to end. You could probably make them shorter by trimming the ends, but they are perfect for my situation, what I need, and they're a perfect fit. So next thing I gotta do is go ahead and trim these uh, straight pipes down. Um, I have a mark somewhere on the other side that I gotta cut, but it's pretty much just cut those babies off, and then we'll go ahead and just do uh, back and forth, back and forth of test fitting until the fitment is exactly where I want it. The resonators are now tacked in and I'm really happy with the fitment. I didn't realize that the uh, Vibrant Performance resonators had an inside diameter of 3 inch. I thought the pipes were just 3 inch. Um, so uh, pretty much what that means is instead of having to hold it up and you know butt the two pipes together and then hold it up and weld it, uh, that this pipe was actually able to slide over my existing pipe. So that makes it you know 100 times easier to mock things up and test fit. Uh, so that was, uh, I'm really happy about that. I got all my tips aligned how I want them. When I went ahead and cut it with the Sawzall, uh, my tips went out of whack and turned and stuff. So that's all good. So like I said, everything's tacked up and pretty much uh, is where it's gonna be permanently. So now, uh, next step, which is the crappiest step, is uh, pretty much everything I did in the last video. I have to take down all the skid shields, remove my O2 sensors, uh, and then drop the entire exhaust down so that I can fully weld everything around uh, completely. So that's what you're gonna see me do now, is drop the exhaust completely, weld it all up, paint it up, and then go ahead and throw everything back together.
fix anything. So I don't know if you guys can hear like it clearly, but it's still pretty loud. Um, it did help with some things. Uh, the high end rasp when you get higher end, when you get higher up into the RPM range, it was a little raspy. The resonators did fix that, which I'm happy about. Um, and it didn't fix like how loud it was or how loud the exhaust is, which I'm kind of happy about. I've been driving it for like a month. Um, you know, it, I'm, I'm taking this last ending uh, of this video uh, uh, a long time after uh, I did the resonators, but I've been driving it on it about a month and it, 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 it did fix the drone a little bit, but it didn't fix the drone completely. But I realized why my car has so much drone. Um, so let me pop my trunk. So I have a rear seat delete. So since I deleted my rear seats, you know, that is a lot of sound deadening from the factory that I got rid of. So uh, I was talking to a friend at work about it and you know, rear seats are like, four to five to even six inches thick just the backs and then the bottoms are about the same thickness so that's a lot of you know uh, foam that I deleted and that foam acted as sound deadening so I'm pretty sure that I have a lot of drone because I have nothing uh, blocking off the trunk and if you ever drove around with your your rear seats folded down you do notice your exhaust is a little bit louder not from the outside but from the inside and you notice that you can you know hear rock chips flying up in the rear uh, wheel wells you just hear a lot more road noise so for me, I'm gonna hear a lot of exhaust noise because I deleted the rear seats. So I think what I have to do is, all I have to do is get some sound deadening material, like uh, you could buy it easily like on Amazon. I just need to take apart the rear uh, seat area and go ahead and just like wrap a couple things, add pieces of sound deadening everywhere. I think, you know, it would help. And especially on the back side of this rear seat delete, just to kind of help with some sound deadening. So even though we didn't fix the drone issue uh, by doing the resonator, I'm happy that I did it because it did fix the high-end rasp issue in the high end of the RPMs. Um, so I am happy about that, but the drone I will fix with the sound deadening. I'm almost 100% positive that that's why I have a lot of drone. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. Please give this video a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.